Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. Critical decisions must be made before we get to the word. Let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. This word is going to be an encouragement and a revelation to somebody. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it, that whoever is going to hear this word, they shall hear that which you are saying in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Joshua 24, 15, it says, And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Deuteronomy 30, 19 it says, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. This is a word of instruction that the Lord gave me to bring to you. This is going to be a year of making critical decisions. Many are going to find themselves in the valley of decision. Many of you are going to be faced with the decision to stand in faith on God's promises. Despite what is happening or is taking place, the enemy is going to present you with an alternative. But you must make the right decision you cannot afford to take an alternative that the devil is going to present to you because of what is happening because of what is going on because of what you have gone through because of how long you have waited critical decision must be made that is what the lord sent me here to come and tell you this year many of you are going to be faced with the decision to trust in god's timing or to let go of the promise. Many are going to be faced with the decision to trust on the faithfulness of the Lord and rest in the fact that he's going to bring you through, that he's going to bring to pass his promise or buy into the lies and the deception of the enemy that God has abandoned you, that God doesn't love you, that God doesn't care, that God has rejected you. Critical decision will have to be made this year. Some are going to be faced with the decision to take steps of obedience on the leading of God to be positioned for what God wants to release in your life in this year and beyond. This is a year that you will have to trust God in his leading, that you cannot afford to make a decision from a place of thriving or step out in your own ability and strength. The Lord instructed me to come and tell you that this is going to be a year that critical decision will have to be made. This is a year that we are going to see a great falling. Critical decision must be made. Will you continue to align with that which the Lord has rejected? Or will you choose to be rejected? to align with what God is doing. Critical decision are going to be made this year. Every area of our lives must be submitted to the Lord. Stepping out by the leading of God is going to release a great harvest and a speedy advancement in the lives of many. Deciding to move by your own strength is going to bring a delay in your life. It's going to bring hindrances in your life. It's going to bring obstacles in your life. Critical decisions must be made this year. Many are going to be faced with the decision to align and partner with what God is showing you or revealing to you 
the decision that you have been sitting on, that decision that you have been hesitant to make will have to be made this year. You cannot procrastinate anymore. You can't keep it on hold anymore. Critical decisions must be made. It may appear ridiculous to you what the Lord is showing you, what the Lord is revealing to you. It may appear unattainable. At times, it may even appear impossible. It may even appear scary or intimidating. But the decision is yours to make, to see the fulfillment of the long-awaited promises manifest in your life. God is going to present you with the direction and the path ahead that you should follow. But the decision is yours to make. Don't allow fear of the unknown to limit you. Don't allow fear of the unknown to make you settle for less. For some of you, the decision is going to cost you. For some of you, the decision is going to require a great sacrifice. But your obedience, your obedience is going to bring a great spiritual reward in your life. Your obedience is going to bring a breakthrough like you have never seen in your life. Your obedience is going to bring a blessing to you and to your household. For some of you to connect to your kingdom spouse, to connect to your kingdom marriage, a critical decision will have to be made. Some of you, you're going to be required to sacrifice something. Some of you, you're going to be required to move. This, the decision is yours to make. The enemy is going to try to throw distractions in your path. You cannot afford to be double-minded this year. You cannot afford to be indecisive. Discernment is key and you must choose to be intentional. You must choose to be purposeful to spend time in the presence of God. Make Holy Spirit your best friend this year more than ever. Draw him closer. Seek the Lord in everything. No matter how insignificant it is, the Lord is saying, seek him. It may appear to you like it is insignificant, but God wants to be involved in everything and in every area of your life. It is critical because you have to move in purpose. You have to move in your assignment. You have to move in your calling. God wants to release you into that which he has been preparing you for all this time. Critical decision must be made. One decision, one decision may be all that many of you need to totally change and transform your life. Cultivate a sensitivity to the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to open your eyes and your ears of understanding to see the doors that the Lord has opened for you to walk through in the coming months. The Lord is saying, John 3.14, the Lord is saying, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision there are so many of you who are hesitant to take that decision there is a decision that you know that you have to take there is something that the lord has been ministering to you and for everybody it is different but you know that the lord has been ministering to you but you have been hesitant you have been sitting on it some of you it has you have been sitting on it for a while, for, for even a year, for some of you it's been years, but you know that there is a decision that you have to make, critical decision must be made this year, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. 
God is positioning and aligning his people for the day of the Lord is drawing nearer and nearer and critical decisions must be made especially this year. May the Lord bless you.